All right, here we are back at the Westminster Beehive. Huh, looks like I'm gonna have to fix this sign. Yeah, definitely need to fix the sign. So anyway, I've got here some uh, tools. Got me some uh, water with a little bit of bleach in it. Some rubbing alcohol, a couple of rags, a staple gun, and some wire mesh. Uh, this is a frame that I took out earlier to show someone. And then I've got some uh, more wire mesh. And I'll explain that later. So, yeah, I'm back at the hive. I'm going to open it up, take all the frames out, and uh, start, uh, start cleaning it. So I've just wet this rag with some Clorox water. And I'm going to use it to wipe down the top of these frames to get the sugar. You can see the sugar here. I'm going to get that cleaned off. Clorox is alright to use as long as you let it air out before you put the bees in. And I'm also not going to be cleaning any parts that are inside the hive. I'm only going to be cleaning the parts that the bees can't reach. I'll stay away from you. It's alright. I'm going to stay away from you. They think bees are still here. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't hurt them anyway. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna clean these off, and I'm gonna, as I clean them, I'm gonna take. You know, I'm just cleaning the top and the sides here, and as I clean them, I'm gonna set them over there on the lid, and then, uh, then we'll see what we gotta do to the inside. There actually are bees in here. You can see, but that's not a bee from this hive. The uh, other hives in the area have discovered it apparently, and they're robbing honey. You can see. There's a bee in there. They're stealing some of the honey. So I need to get those other bees in here fairly quickly. So they can stop that before this gets uh, swarming with bees. All right, still going. I'm not cleaning them very much. I just, I've basically just wiped off the sugar from the top of the frames here. And I'm gonna go along and clean off uh, the outside so it looks good. In the entrance I'm gonna make sure that's very clean. Just outside stuff that the bees can't get to. Places where I've got smashed dead. Alright, it looks like I'm back to using my cell phone. This camera, even though it's plugged in, the battery just seems shot. So, I've got all the frames out. Never, I've actually never done this. This is pretty cool. I just got out the basically the whole hive upside down right here. It's kind of neat. So yeah, I'm just continuing cleaning this out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this screen out of here and replace it. I took the bottom board and I cleaned that up real good. All right. I'll continue with that. All right, so I got that out. And, uh, you can see it here. The reason I'm removing this is because I decided that the uh, holes were too big and the bees were able to squeeze through them. And they were able to get down to the bottom and it kind of defeated the purpose. And, uh, yeah, I, I figured at first that I could uh, put these in there then offset them and end up with eighth inch mesh because I couldn't find any eighth inch mesh and uh, apparently that didn't work you can see where they've put propolis and wax on them but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in at least in the front this is actual eighth inch mesh this is the only eighth inch mesh I could find this came off of an aquarium so I'm going to put this up in the front of the hive where it matters most and then toward the back of the hive I'm going to just screen it with some regular window screen. Holes are a little small and they might try sealing it with propolis but it should, they should uh, fill, try to fill the propolis on the front of the hive first so I might get away with that. Uh, you can see the propolis here these zigzags where they've sealed the hive. Uh, 
Uh, I've had quite a few people uh, coming by and at, at asking me about them. There's someone's stuff right there. Remind me next time I do this to do it in the middle of the night. <laughs> so I don't have a bunch of people watching. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good to be able to talk to people about what happened. Alright, well, I'm just going to keep going here. No need to bore you with all that. And I just realized that I've got a bunch of stuff littering down on the bottom of the hive. Kind of looks bad. I think what I might do is come by and flip all the rocks over to hide it. Alright, so I'll continue with that. Alright, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got the first part of the screen stapled in. I cut it to fit. And I've got it so it's just maybe a quarter inch off the bottom of the, the bottom board here. See, now the bees won't be able to get down in there. That'll be enough space for the romites to fall through. Yeah. Uh, this is the right size mesh. I don't have any more of this, unfortunately, and I can't find anywhere that sells it. So, I'm putting the part that I have in the most important spot, which is right here where the brood chamber is. It's where the baby bees will be raised. And uh, uh, when the uh, baby bees come out of their cell, and uh, the romites come out with them, this is the most likely spot for them to fall off and uh, fall out of the hive. The rest of this I'm going to do with window screen. That is big enough for the mites to fall through, I think. Uh, the bees might plug it up with uh, propolis because the holes are too small. But back here, I might not have a problem with that. Yeah, let's see how it goes. If, uh, if that don't work, I may have to special order some screen, put some new screen in. Pretty sure it'll work though. Alright, so I'll finish that. And uh, put the frames back in. There, what's wrong with that? I don't know if you can see it very well on this camera, but there I've got it. I even used some of the propolis to stick the uh, screen together right there. Got it good and tight. This is really good. I wish I had more of this. But I think this will work. And you can see, you pull this out. It's all screened. I'll be able to leave this off in the middle of the summer and the bees won't be flying in and out of the underside of the hive like they were last year. What happened is the underside of the hive ended up being the entrance, which really isn't that big of a deal, but you know, I didn't like it. It was probably, you know, they might have gotten robbed by other bees. And so that that could have actually been part of the reason why they died. Maybe they, maybe other bees from other hives started uh, robbing honey from them and it put them back. I don't know. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of variables. But I'm trying to cover everything this year. Continually learning. All right. So these windows. Let's clean those. Get those nice and pretty. I got some uh, rubbing alcohol and a cloth. I'm going to scratch off most of it. Just break off the wax here. And then the alcohol will help us soften the wax so I can wipe it off. WD 40 is probably the best thing to use to get wax off of glass, but that's not good to be using on the inside of a hive, so I'm going to be using this. Uh, trying to decide if I should film film this. I've just got one hand here, but I think I can. Yeah. 
just gotta scrub it off. Alright, I don't need to film this, do I? Yeah. A little boring. Alright, I'll come back when I got that done. Alright, the windows are much cleaner. Uh, give me a hand through there. <laughs> yeah, much cleaner. I don't know how long they'll stay like that, but there you go. What's wrong with that? So, time to put the frames back in, I guess. I do apologize for having such a poor video quality. My other camera just, I think the battery's shot on it. It's very unreliable. Either you're gonna have to get a new battery or a new camera. Anyway, you can see this. See upside down beehive. Uh, this is actually should be on the other side, but yeah, this is the follower board that goes in the hive. Don't usually don't use it very much, but it's there. Um, what else do I got before I put this in? Oh yeah, somebody came by and they they wanted to see how I was gonna fix the comb, so I ended up cutting it for them. To see, you can see there's some pollen inside of there. So yeah, this is a this frame's got honey and pollen still in it. I cut it, so you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I straighten these out a little bit, or rather I'm going to put this between the two combs that are straight, and the bees should build straight onto that. So, you know, this this was pretty wavy and I didn't like it. Didn't really hurt nothing. This one I'm probably going to have to do the same thing. Maybe even cut more of it off or something. But really, it doesn't hurt nothing, does it? Yeah. We'll figure that out when I get there. Maybe I'll put this back and uh, have them put honey in it. Then I'll harvest my honey from this. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. A lot of these brood frames, I. That's how you you got to cycle them through. That uh, helps with the so that the bees are always in fresh comb. Anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about that this year. Anyway, so uh, start putting them in. All right, so I'm putting the uh, putting the frames back in. I wanted to check here, make sure they were the. Yeah, uh, had good clearance. There's actually more clearance now since I've only got the one screen in there. That'll help. I won't have to cut off as much when I get the other frames from the other hive. Yeah, just putting them together, making sure they fit. You can see here this frame. I don't know if it's you can see. Uh, you can't see much on this camera. Yeah, this this frame bulges out a little bit. This one cuts in, so I got to put them together like that. Kind of fit them together like a puzzle. The problem with these lengths or uh, top bar hives, rather than the lengths worth, is they, you know, they're a little more del uh, You got to be a little more careful of where you put the frames. But there you go. I'll continue putting them in. All right, we're all back together, and uh, you see in here, I ended up uh, cutting a little bit of the wax, so I've got some honey dripping down. That's not going to be an issue. I kind of like having the windows actually, because now I can look in here and make sure all the frames are evenly spaced. Uh, you probably just see my reflection in the camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is going to pull this whole thing 
that way. About uh, four or five frames. And then put these forward. I'm going to work on this one. So uh, let's leave that. And then this right here is where I'm going to put the new bees in. Probably, yeah, probably four frames worth. Let's see how many frames do I take out there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four frames worth right there. There we go. And that space right there is where I'm going to put the new bees. Of course, I'm going to work on this first. But I'll do that some other time, probably off camera. Well, I probably should film it. Anyway, I'm going to clean up. I've got somewhere where I've got to be like half an hour ago. But, yeah. It took a little while because there was a bunch of people that stopped by and were curious. And I'm more than happy to talk to them about bees. Of course, it took uh, a lot of time. Uh, flies and stuff. Alright. The end of that, I guess. I'm going to clean up. Pretty sure I already said that. Alright. Next.